is uh, is this here for a reason? Do we just just keep it here? Yeah. Thank you. He has some things he'd like to say, Jerry. Oh, we got that. Hi, guys. Awesome. We're doing a trio panel with, with Misha, Jared, and little Jared. <laughs> Off to a good start, huh? We wasted no time. Oh. And, and then it was 3.30. Uh, first and foremost, to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. There are a few mothers in our lives, uh, and, and literally, legitimately, this cannot happen without them. So, uh, cheers to y'all, cheers to them, and thank you for your hard driven work. How many, how many of you are mothers? Very cool. Thank you guys. Now, did you tie the kids up today? Or leave them on the zip line? Is there a cage? With Lucifer? Got it, got it. <laughs> Just a bowl of water. Some like uh, gold baron gummy bears from Germany. Um, cool. That would be happy, I think. If I was a kid and I had a cage with water and gummy bears. Okay, best mom ever. <laughs> um, all right, let's not waste your time. Well, hello there. Hello, and thank you for this. I'm gonna die, I think. No, thank you for this. Y'all see Velma? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, bravo. Hi, thank you. Um, so, my question. If there were, there was an episode like French Mistake, but at convention time, how would you characters deal with it? Like, you know, the photos, strange questions, hot ladies. <laughs> Uh, it would be, I think, <laughs> I think Dean would have a really tough time. I think Cass would be none the wiser. He wouldn't really, he doesn't really see attraction, I don't think. Um, I, you know what I mean? Aren't you junkless? Have we decided? Or not? No, 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 on the show, on the show. All right, you won that round. It would be difficult. It would be sort of like a, it would be the real Ghostbusters meets um, French Mistake, right? What, what was it? Yeah, the real Ghostbusters. Uh, it would be fun. I think Sam would be very confused. He would be very... It, I think your beard is shorting morning. out the microphone. You're like... <laughs> I think he'd be very confused. I think he'd be very happy. And I think he would try and treat it kind of like as a, as a riddle of some sort. You know, so I think he would try and approach it from an academic standpoint. Yeah? What about Cass? Well, if these were the characters from the French mistake that were transported into a convention, then it would be Jared, Jensen, and, and Misha, right? The and Misha, Misha and Yeah, and yeah. so I would be like, you know, taking a lot of selfies and... Lots of tweeting. Posting and tweeting. And, you so know, doing stuff that I, I don't do in real life. <laughs> Um, and and you're, you you would be like you would have a mirror in the photo ops room that you'd keep checking. I do have a mirror in the photo ops room. That was like real life. <laughs> <laughs> and that was based on me. And Jensen uh, giant fish tank. We would have a giant fish tank and have sex with all the fans. I will say this. Uh, Sweet, sweet, sweet guy, David Berry. Uh, wildly handsome, sweet guy. Uh, he was, we, were, we, were, we were trading numbers for like, uh, to, to do Instagram and stuff like that. And he flipped through and he saw the chicken dance video or whatever it's called. And he's like, oh my God, 40 million views? I was like, yeah, we were hanging out in Jensen's trailer. He goes, wait a second, that's y'all's trailer? <laughs> he really did. There's like a brick wall in there. <laughs> I think it's fake, but it's all right. Uh, so, um, uh, he got me laughing. <laughs> so, 
we've spent a lot of time making fun of ourselves, and I think that we and we think that we're like making fun of a caricature of ourselves, and it's just like that, that's just actually how we are. <laughs> that's true. It's true and very unfortunate. Um, I did like in the French mistake. I don't know. if I've told you the story, but in the French mistake, um, you know, I played Misha and I was tweeting a lot, and uh, someone you know killed me or started to kill me, and I screamed like a 12 year old girl and I was rude to the to that you know hairstyle Un unscripted I think legitimately unscripted yeah. right yeah and, and I was rude to the hairstylist and the PA I ignored them and uh, and then as soon as the episode aired my my manager called at the time my manager called and said Misha it's so good getting you getting to see you just play yourself <laughs> How do you respond to that? Well, I mean, honestly, I, I fired him, but... <laughs> but now, in hindsight, I, I see that that may... This is just true! <laughs> it may have been just me, you know? <laughs> it legitimately, you're like, man, that actually is who I am. <laughs> we'll say that I, I still laugh audibly. It's one of the few episodes that I'll go back and, and re-watch. Um, and I, it, it brings me great joy to, to watch Mistake, something weird to say about watching yourself. Um, <laughs> but something that Jared Padalecki in The French Mistake would say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, the bit of you pushing somebody away, <laughs> oh wow, me should be. Yeah. It's very and, funny. And your portrait of yourself? Yeah, that I, that, that I, that I, I have still. <laughs> I don't, I don't have the Warhols anymore. We, we, still are, have we are the douchebags that we were making fun of. It was just based on our I do, personal law. I get like, hey, do you, why don't you and Jensen talk? And I'll be like, what? I'm like, well, you know, French mistake when they talk about like how you guys are talking again. I'm like, oh, I don't really know where that came from. <laughs> Legitimately don't know where that came from, but I guess it was just a good, a good gag because I think a lot of TV shows out there, people don't get along, and so they won't talk. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, thank you, an awesome outfit. Thank you so much, love you. Yeah, love you back. Did you say our name is Shaquille? Yeah, we have, we have, we, How does that work? We have the same name. You know you're, you're, in your name? Shaquille. Shaquille? Shaquille. Shaquille. How do you spell it? Shaquille. Well, how do you spell it? Yeah. S-H-A-K-E-D. Shaquille. Where are you all from? Israel. Nowhere. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, are you friends? That is Shaquille. Who are we friends with? Are you friends? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, sure. Who are you friends with? No. <laughs> Listen, please. Are you friends be because of your name? No, we're friends because of you. Oh. For, those, for those who are looking this way, she couldn't even keep a straight face after she said it. She goes, we're friends because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he influences me really quickly.
as you can tell, I mean, we can all see him. He's easily influenced. So, uh, I try as much as possible. Come on, let's finish the sentence. I really want to influence Jerry. And, and I tell him that, and, and I feel it. But sometimes when it just comes to that moment where I might influence him, it, it feels like it doesn't happen. Some pills from my doctor. I can't. I can't top that. Shakab and Shakib, 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 please never ask us that again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, my, my stomach hurts from laughing. You know, since then, every time I hear someone say, like, influence or influential, I'm like, who <laughs> It's, it's really the word for Sam everyone here. What is, what is a good uh, uh, replacement? Yeah. Uh, it, the base? Low on the base? Okay. <coughs> wow. You trying to maybe influence this mic? Um, she's right. I was gripping too low. <laughs> well, maybe that's the problem. Touche. You win. Uh, I'm <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry. Yep. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know that word. So I'm not asking for spoiler, and I'm not even asking a question. Actually. We die next episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just, I just have a request. Like, I just really want when Lucifer dies, because he asked Lucifer to die. dies? Yeah, he asked to die, please. Well, now you tell me. Why didn't you tell me this a while ago? No, no, like, I just wish that it's Sam who kills them, you know. <laughs> I would be so satisfying, like, to see Sam finally kill him. Like, so... No shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> You're right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree. Um, thank you. Uh, I hope Sam does eventually get to kill Lucifer as well. Um, I think knowing Sam, and we all kind of know Sam a little bit, I think he'd rather just see Lucifer dead no matter what. <laughs> so uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that Sam gets to be the one who pulls the final trigger. Well, I guess there wouldn't be a trigger that could be pulled because the cult doesn't kill him. What kills Lucifer? Party? <laughs> Archangel Blake, got it. Of course. Yeah, um, yeah I hope it gets to be Sam. That's the one um, who pulls the final Archangel Blake. You can't really pull Archangel yeah. uh, Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for your comment. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. You guys obviously both spearhead uh, like charity work, a different but sort of parallel charity work. And I'm just wondering what inspires uh, you more, most about the others. Great work, word choice, by the way. <laughs> uh, both in terms of like the tactics and business of your separate works and the movement that you've both created. Like what inspires you the most about what each other have done? I, I'm going to start, uh, because I'm going to say the only nice thing I've ever said about Misha Collins in the public forum. Uh, I don't, I don't want to spoil it. My, Misha, check. <clears throat> Mine has been entirely accidental and has really been all y'all. Uh, this guy sharing a stage with me right now, or that I'm sharing a stage with, I suppose, has really agreed. <laughs> agreed. 
uh, he's, he's, he's gone out of his way on time off, and uh, he's really made a, a, a lifelong choice and sacrifice to do it. For mine sort of happened by accident. Yours, like, you had a 501c3 before you were ever on Supernatural, right? Oh, no, it, was, it was right at the beginning. Okay. Right at the beginning. Yeah, so for me, to answer your question, I suppose, is y'all inspired my tactics and drive. It was, it really was accidental, <coughs> the same way the SPN family exists now. This guy has been doing it for, for many, many years and been very dedicated about it. Um, traveling the world and uh, building buildings and making sure we have clean water. I mean, he's, just, he's, he's gone above and beyond. Please join me doing something very painful. something that was very brave, which is talk about your own mental health issues and, and sort of brought light to that and um, I think enabled your audience and people even beyond it to feel like coming out of the shadows about that was okay. And that's a big deal. Like, uh, I think that a lot of times people who are in the limelight are deathly afraid of talking about any of their problems because they're afraid it's going to tarnish their, you know, perfect image in, in the eyes of their audience. And it's actually a really important thing to do. And I think that that's also helped, you know, garner a lot of fundraising that's gone to good organizations. So that, that has been great um, that you have done um, and is, is inspirational. Um, <laughs> But another thing, that, uh, another thing that has been, I think, really awesome is banding together on stuff.